What's up guys, it's Twists and Tips, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to spray paint your BMX helmet. I know it may look better or worse, probably worse after this, but the reason why I'm doing it is because I never wear white, I usually wear black t-shirts, it's not because I'm gothic, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's more my style, and I think black just overall looks good on me with like a touch of white or something. So whenever I wear a helmet, uh, the white on my helmet really sticks out a lot and it says, hey guys, I'm wearing a helmet, look at me whenever I do wear a helmet. So today I'm going to be uh, actually spray painting it black with this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to first take off all the stickers on your helmet, shake up your paint, well so that it doesn't splatter. And you're going to want to, this uh, says right here, Real focus. It says that it's good for like plastics. But yeah, I'm gonna go uh, take all the stickers off and show you guys what the primer looks like. I'll be back. All right, so we got this bowling ball helmet now. Nice and no stickers on it, but I'm gonna put like the Rockstar one, the profile one, the medium sign, and then the other side says like the stats of it. But the rest I can't because obviously they're black and they won't blend in. I mean, they will blend in. And also down here I taped all these little like stud things that hold on the strap I taped those up so they won't get paint on them and I found the uh, primer spray enamel alright so I'm gonna go get a box set all this stuff on it out in my yard and uh, start spraying alright guys so uh, here we go we're uh, bound to do it so first off I'm gonna just put this off to the side and if you have a GoPro mount on there Actually, this one hold up. Mine fell off a while ago in the foam pit, so I'm probably just gonna actually have to replace this one because I don't trust it being on there. But yeah, well, okay, never mind. Maybe it actually stuck back on there because whenever I went, okay, what are those? They're freaking some spray painting stuff. Because if if it's windy, it might blow back on you. But luckily, we don't have any uh, wind back here, so I'm gonna. Uh, Try to do the best I can one-handed. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So I apologize if I'm shaking, but squirt it a few times to make sure it doesn't. And you want to get about 12 inches away. Just keep doing this. Man, that smells good. I'm, I'm probably bound to die. All right, so. That should be about good for the first coat. Hopefully it'll get less glossy. All right, so we'll let it sit. All right, guys, so here we got the finished product. I'm gonna go a little 360 over there. Whole helmet. But yeah, overall, uh, whenever I was painting at first, I'm like, yeah, man, this is going to turn out trash. I don't even want to make it out to. But actually, it looks pretty good. You know, if you, like, from far away, that's all I really care.
cared about. Sorry, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I actually got to talk a little bit quieter. But, uh, from far away, it's just going to look normal. I mean, if you get up close, you can kind of see. And this is like with r r uh, light right on it. So, uh, yeah, I thought it actually turned out pretty well. I got the overall look I was looking for. And I'm very impressed with it. Uh, even though, like, I ran out of paint, so, like, down there it's a little bit spotted. But, yeah, please, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is the, uh, ProTech one, and I, uh, I got a little bit of paint on the straps, but, uh, like I said again, I, uh, I never really wear white, so black would go perfect, so I made it happen. And if you actually want to see like every little detail, you can get up close. But then I'm going to show you one last shot with the flash off. And then I'll let you guys go. Please subscribe. Thanks. Alright, so this is with it all. Alright, peace out. Thanks for watching.